Real quick, Willow Nightingale should not lose the TBS championship to Mercedes Monet because I have to say I've suffered through Mercedes' awful um, promos and it's exposed her lack of character development. I think Willow on the mic is fantastic. She gives you that scrappy... I want to do good. I'm doing the best I can. You can get behind me. Uh, aura. And I think it would be... Um, it would suck if they just take that belt off of her and give her give it to Mercedes Monet. I'm still confused as to why Mercedes Monet is going after the TBS championship instead of the AEW championship. But whatever. Apparently, she was still injured the whole time. And she... Ma Listen, I'm not even fucking mad. Bitch got the bag bitch got the bag didn't do nothing but basically do sasha banks with the ceo shit and them terrible ass wigs girl get your money i'm not even mad but that's not what we're talking about what we're talking about is tommy dreamer uh had this to say about ava uh aka the rock's daughter aka tko chairman of the board dwayne johnson A.K.A. Hollywood hates his guts, so he comes back to the WWE to get his ego stroked. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, his run this last time was it was very entertaining. Um, The question was, what do you think of Ava running things on WWE NXT TV? So what did he say? He said, I think she's a phenomenal, she's doing a, a phenomenal job. And we're talking, you know, off about age and being on television. He then noted how she comes from a family of wrestlers and praised her for being able to keep up with the demands of the GM role. He said, and I quote, I think she carries all of her segments well. It's a lot to remember when you're in that type of role. Rain is often approached by female NXT stars in order to get their next big match. NXT currently has a stacked women's roster and many rising stars. And there's so many women now, I really have to think hard. Um, I don't know what he's talking about. I just, I'm going to be honest. Ava wrestled, what, three times? She signed with the WWE in 2020. She literally has made a easy money in three years. Um, she said her grandma was one of the reasons why she got in, the family... She didn't, she could have went to NYU. You know, all these celebrity kids, for some reason, always end up in Ivy League. And I always used to be like, well, they're super smart because they homeschool. And they're not. They just bought and paid for it because a lot of them are fucking idiots. Um, I find Ava to be a charisma vacuum. And she has a very unique mouth. I will say that. Sounds crazy. But the way she talks, it draws you into her mouth because she has like a buck overbite and the sounds like this when she's talking and she's trying to talk really fast and she doesn't close her lips. So it's, it, it's confusing. Outside of that, I don't see why being a GM is difficult. Now, Nick Aldis doing fan fucking tastic. I actually think Nick Aldis is coming very close to fucking somebody up cuz he was about to whoop Nick uh, Logan Paul's ass until Rocky, I mean, um Cody told him to go ahead and chill and he'll take care of uh Logan Paul in that boring ass segment this past Friday for their match at Saudi Arabia. Um old boy who runs Raw, I keep forgetting his name, Adam Pierce. He does a good job as the GM who is always stressed. Adam always needs to get a drink. Every It's always so much chaos. And he's just like, oh my God, I can't. If these guys, you know, it's always frantic. It's always like, oh, oh, Adam Pierce. And then you have NXT GM, Ava Rain. It's like, oh, girl, I need to get in that ring with such and such. Okay, so what you got to do is you got to work hard and you got to got to. And it's like, all right, thanks. Notice I just gave you three GMs with three different personalities. Now, that's a plus. 
Nick Aldis with the hardcore Don't Fuck With Me, Adam Pierce with I Gotta Keep Everybody In Check and In Order, What's Going On With The Chaos, and then there's Ava Rain with the, the, the basic white bread, boring ass, okay, we're gonna make sure you get a match, reading right off the card, no personality whatsoever. If I had to rate the GMs, I probably would go Aldis, Pierce, and Ava. Has nothing to do with nothing to do with age. Ava has been in the WWE, signed to WWE for four years, probably longer than that. Okay, give me a break. Let, let's start with the character development. Do the people in the comments say, "Well, here we go." Mine and his definition of phenomenal must be complete polar opposite. While Ava has improved a bit. She is still fairly terrible and is absolutely positively no way she'd be signed to any wrestling company. A uh, public speaking lunchroom announcement if she wasn't The Rock's daughter. Will she improve? Probably. But the fact is she has no innate talent, no charisma, poor speaking skills, a very odd look, and does not belong in the spot she's featured in. God damn. Like, tell me how you really feel. Tommy Dreamer just comes off as if he's sucking someone's ass. And it, it was a bit much. She's not doing a phenomenal job. You know, like, again, who's doing a phenomenal job? Nick Aldis. Who's doing a phenomenal job? Adam Pierce. I, I don't I don't hate Ava. I don't have no animosity towards her. But she's just there. It's nothing. I don't look. When Nick Aldis comes out, you know something important is about to happen. When Adam Pierce is backstage with his hands on his hips, you know something done went down. When Ava shows up, it's like, okay, girl, let me get my pillow and fluff it because I'm about to fall the fuck asleep. It's a lot, and it's too much. Nepotism has been a big issue, not just in wrestling, throughout entertainment, shit, period. Jobs, all of the place. If you are a family member to someone in high positions, people will put people who have absolutely no fucking reason to be in positions, in positions simply because they're family. And I think this is the case with Ava. I'm just going to be honest. Um, Tommy Dreamer is dreaming. He needs to dislodge The Rock's dick out of his tonsils. And either you're going to be honest about some things or just shut the fuck up. Tell me what you think about Ava and how she's doing as GM in NXT. Do you agree with Tommy Dreamer? Or am I just being a little bit too harsh and expecting too much from Miss Ava?